1927, a custom-made biscuit tin marked Reading's journey to Wembley. But the biscuit men fell to eventual winners Cardiff in the semi-final, and this FA Cup souvenir remained on the factory shelf. 88 years on, the biscuit men are now nicknamed the Royals, and Reading are finally back in the semi-finals. Yeah, for the football club, it's, it's been a really long time. It's great. Most of the people that will be there will never have seen Reading play in a FA Cup semi-final, so that's fantastic. 2015 will be another year to remember. Inconsistent in the championship, Reading's season has been transformed by their magnificent cup run that's brought out the best in their talented squad. Wembley bound, Reading and Steve Clark. I think it's, it's probably put a little bit of sunshine into a difficult season. It's not been a great league campaign for Reading this year. For now, it's to enjoy the FA Cup. The, the cup run's been good. We've had a lot of difficult away games. One, one really good night at home when we, we managed to knock out the giant killers, Bradford, who had a fantastic cup campaign themselves. And, and now we look to take on the, the mantle of the underdogs into the semi-final. We've already been part of history, you know, getting to the, reaching the semi-final of the FA Cup. It's obviously a big thing for the club. It's a big thing for us as players to experience the semi-final of the FA Cup. Supporters have really galvanised with the cup run. and. Um, you know, I'm sure they'll come out in the numbers at Wembley. Steve Clark has been instrumental in Reading's Cup success. Appointed manager at Christmas, Clark has his own FA Cup pedigree as he heads back to Wembley. As a player, I won it in 1997 with Chelsea. And a lot of people look at that, that little spell where, where that team was good and they picked up two or three trophies in a couple of years. And I think that was the sort of catalyst for, for the Chelsea you see today. So it's nice to have been part of that. It's great, obviously the, the stadium's changed completely from when I came out as a player. It was the, the old Wembley with the Twin Towers, a uh, special place, special memories. But I think now it's the same. It's the, it's the showpiece competition for English football, the FA Cup. It's a great occasion, you walk out of Wembley, the, the place is full, the noise is fantastic, atmosphere electric. It's a really good occasion and anybody that gets there should count their blessings because it's... Not too many people in football get the chance to walk out in an FA Cup final. One man who has is opposition manager Arsène Wenger. Speaking before Arsenal's quarter-final with Manchester United, the Frenchman reflected on his debut FA Cup final in 1998. The first one was against Newcastle, and uh, I remember absolutely everything because it was at Wembley. Uh, what is for a guy who comes from uh, France, you know, for me it was... A, it was all new and uh, it was really something special. The, the whole stadium was an old stadium, but it was a, a soul in there that is uh, exceptional. The grass was special, everything was special at Wembley. Well, it's a truly amazing achievement by Arsene Wenger, the man whose managerial adventure of this country is only in his second season. The rest is history. Five FA Cup trophies later and Wenger's class of 2015 are on course to reclaim the cup they lifted last May. A club like Arsenal, trophies are demanded. They're the FA Cup holders from last year, so they'll be looking to put on a, a strong defence. They're in the semi-final again, they'll fancy their chances to get to the final, so it's up to us to go there, do our work properly and, and try and put a spanner in, in the works. Every player is world class and um, like I said, on the day, you know, you, you can't go into it thinking that, you've just got to think that it's another game and it's a one-off and anything can happen. But Reading face a daunting task. Arsenal are on an eight-game winning run, their best since the invincible season. We know how difficult it's going to be. You know, Arsenal are a top side. It's going to be difficult, but you know, it's going to be a good occasion, and hopefully, we can do ourselves justice and make a game of it. On the day, we know that we have to be 100% spot on, play almost the perfect game. If we can play the perfect game and Arsenal don't quite hit the heights, then we've got a chance. In football, you've always got a chance. It's a special cup. As a player, it, it, it's a cup that you know you, you dream of playing in when you are a young boy, and you, you're playing in the garden, and you always you're always playing to win the FA Cup. It's a special occasion, and it's one that I'm sure every single player will, will relish and um, take memories of that for the rest of the career. <laughs>